One of the most common questions I get from my clients is Sarah, what should we use for file storage? The team then collectively groans over the tools they've tried. They're too expensive. There's no offline mode. And honestly, the organizational structure is confusing. Even with COVID slowing down, I'm seeing more and more teams committed to creating a seamless digital work hub than ever before. Yet there's always one crucial element being left alone, and that's file sharing. Fortunately for you and my clients, there's one single solution that I personally feel has gotten it right, and that is Sync.com. Hey, what's going on, y'all? I'm Sarah, the girl you call when your business needs a beat down. If we haven't met yet, I share content every month that focuses on one specific workflow in your business, including the tools, systems, and why behind it to help you work better online as a team of one or a team of some. And you are in for a treat because all summer long, I'm sharing content slowly on client management. From portals to communication and setting boundaries, collecting feedback, and yes, even file sharing, which is what we're diving into today. So grab some coffee, open a new page in Notion to take some notes, and let's get into it. Sync.com is a cloud-based file storage solution, which means unlike its competitors, your data, pictures, videos, document, term papers, they are all stored on one remote secure server. Now I know what you're thinking, Sarah, I've got Google Drive. Why do I need another tool? Great question, Susan. Let's start with the obvious, the amount of storage. Sync is the first file storage software to offer unlimited storage at an affordable rate. I mean, we're talking three lattes a month cheap. And especially now as we move deeper into Web3, there should be really no need to be forced into upgrading when you've hit a data limit or have to pay for users to access that either. Like I mentioned at the top of this video, Sync covered the basics when building this tool. Storage is 100% important, of course, but like so many other key features, this makes switching a no-brainer. My biggest frustration with clients who are using Dropbox is that I not only have to create an account, but also have to pay to access their data. With Sync.com, you have unlimited sharing between clients, teams, and your other customers. And aside from the basic sharing access and password protection, one feature that I love is the ability to also add an expiration date and time to any file. A great use case for this would be around storing files post project. By requiring clients to self store their files after the project has ended, this feature can create a sense of urgency to do so. And a little pro tip, you could even use your built-in referral code and get them on Sync too. There's so much more to Sync's focus on productivity and collaboration. Unlike these other key tools in the space, Sync has the ability to allow you to comment directly on files, track version history to keep progress all in one place, and notification controls so when a client asks for changes, there's minimal back and forth or fear that you'll lose that crucial feedback. And I don't think I've actually ever seen a tool offer a one-year recovery window. And let's be honest, how many of us have accidentally deleted a file and not realized it until it's too late? <clears throat> I know I have. Custom branding is an increasingly growing feature across software tools, and I'm 100% here for it because y'all, you know how seriously I take my brand. While there's nothing wrong with repping a company's color palette, creating a visual cohesion across your tools can reduce fatigue from constantly switching tools. And not to mention, it adds a certain level of pizzazz for your users. And with many of us on the go, whether that's traveling, working from a coffee shop with spotty Wi-Fi, or like my previous client who shoots content around the city, with Sync.com, their team is actually able to upload hundreds of photos and videos directly from their phone. So their editor can sit down immediately and get to work. No more waiting lengthy periods of time for uploads or carrying around external hard drives. Then in between other shoots, the team can share their feedback all before downloading the final photo and video to post to their social media. If you also do content creation, a little bonus feature to know about is that Sync allows you to pick and choose files that are stored natively in the app versus in the cloud. So you're able to reduce local storage on all of your devices. And last but not least, the best part, Offline mode, baby. What a dream. In this Web3 era, honestly, it's shocking to me that more tools do not offer offline mode. So whether you're trying to get a few things done on a flight or your power goes out during a summer Texas storm, you'll still be able to access everything in the cloud. There's a few other quick notes that I wanna mention if you're considering switching to sync.com. The first is that sync is GDPR and HIPAA compliant. 
So those of us who have international clients or health-based clients, everything is secure. And currently, Sync only integrates with Slack and Microsoft Office. But that doesn't mean you can't link or bookmark folders in your Notion client space for access. I think I've made my point that Sync is the missing piece to your perfect digital work hub. So head to sync.com slash Sarah to try out all of their pro team unlimited plan features that I've shared today and grab that exclusive discount from me too. Thanks so much for watching this video and of course, a massive thank you to the Sync team for making it possible. If you enjoyed this content, make sure to give it a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button down below because I post business system and process videos just like this one every single month to help you work better online.